Ever felt like your life is just circling? I'm Danny Sinnott with another Brave to Go. You know, I've done a stack of flying in my time to the point that I've even got a bit of a routine down for whatever I take on board for international flights. It comes down to what I pack, how I pack it, where I sit. Uh, for example, I always choose a window seat on the right side of the plane and I always pack my long puffy jacket and my backpack and that way I can sleep comfortably curled up in the fetal position on my right hand side just like I do every night at home. After a long flight though, even a comfortable one, there's nothing worse than having a flight delay and being stuck in a holding pattern right above the place that you're supposed to land. Knowing full well that it's so close for you to be at your destination and it's just really, really frustrating. You know, sometimes life's like that too. When God has shown us a vision clearly and it feels so real that we can touch it so close, and yet that last thing that needs to click into place just hasn't happened. And sometimes we literally wait years for that breakthrough, continually circling. And we question whether we were wrong and whether God's changed his mind, whether we were mistaken all along and the answer was actually no, but we just press the issue. But sometimes he's not saying no, he's just saying not yet. In Psalm 27 verse 14, it says, wait for the Lord, be strong, take heart and wait for the Lord. You know, after landing, you'll be grateful for the holding pattern when you realize that it was actually during that time that you learned critical skills like pressing into God and trusting in Him and trusting in the process. And of course, it's usually also that holding pattern at an important time for equipping with more skills that you didn't realize that you were going to need. And then, you know, had you landed earlier, it would have been an absolute disaster. So remember that unexpected diversions and holding patterns are just as much a part of God's plan as your landing in the promised land is. Be strong, take heart and wait for the Lord. Braveenough.org